Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I'm coming to you from the corner of Foley Avenue and South 4th Street in Eufaula, Oklahoma. And as I head through the Midwest, westward bound back to California, I am stopping off again for the third time in my adult life here in Eufaula, Oklahoma, where I grew up and I've done a few vlogs in the past of my old stomping grounds. One over at the park with the merry-go-round and one downtown, but this vlog is gonna be in particular about the house I lived in from 1989, 1990, and 1991, the formidable years of my existence and my life were right here at the house I'm about to show you. Here at 415 West Foley Avenue. It was not the color that you're going to see back when I lived here, but it is now yellow but it was not yellow when I lived here. Prepare yourself now for my childhood home here in Eufaula, Oklahoma. This is where it all happened. This tree is exactly the same. This rock wall is still the same, and you can see over time that gravity and this hill has pushed it down just a little bit. The fence was not here when my family lived here. My dad was the minister at First Christian Church here in Eufaula, Oklahoma. And before I started filming this vlog, I got lucky enough to go by there. And even though the building is no longer a church building, they're doing some renovations inside and they had the door open. So I actually got to walk around the sanctuary up to where the baptismal used to be that they've now removed, back to where my dad's office was in the fellowship hall and then upstairs to the two tiny rooms on the upstairs of this building that most people don't even realize is there. These old school rickety floors. I got to climb to the top of there and see my old Sunday school classroom, which was very, very awesome. But now I am here at my home where I grew up. Just imagine a non-yellow version of this house. It was actually brown then. And please excuse the wind. I have actually placed a sticker on the back side of my phone. Hopefully there's not too much wind you can actually hear what I'm saying. But that window right there that I'm pointing at, that window right there was actually my room from 1989, 1990, and 1991, which would have made me 15, 16, and 17 years old. And I used to mow this entire yard with a push mower. And I do not like yard work and mowing. I, do, I am not a fan of the outdoor mowing mechanisms, especially with a non-push mower. So this almost a half acre lot was very difficult to mow, especially during the summer. I did not enjoy it. This brings back painful memories of me mowing this yard on a weekly basis. But the porch is still the same. I used to climb up on top of this roof. This was the, the roof here on top of the garage. I used to actually go around the side hoist my body up between the fence and the garage and sit up on top of the roof and just sit up there and think about what I had planned, the goodness that would be going on. Right in there was the kitchen. My sister and I would come out of there many a times or be playing in the yard. My mom would summon us, time for dinner. We would go inside there. But that was my room, that was the kitchen, and this was the yard. And there used to be an alley that you used to be able to go through that actually blocked the alley can't even go through the alley anymore. One of my best friends, oh, it's very windy. One of my best friends lived in that house right there. J.J. Barry, who had a brother and another brother named Jim and James, and his name was J.J., so it was very interesting. And I always wondered if his name was Jim James and his brother's name was Jim and James. Not the most creative naming of the children in that homestead, but that was his house and in that tree, you see that tree that I'm pointing at right there? He actually had a tree for it. But we set fireworks off one time and they had these little black cat things and he threw one of the fireworks in my shoe and went off in my shoe and scuffled the side of my foot. It was very, very painful and that magical moment happened right there. The first job I ever had, the first entrepreneurial experience that I ever had working for someone happened right here. You see these stairways? These stairways actually led to an elementary school. 
the elementary school, there was an elderly gentleman that someone in my dad's church knew and said he needs an assistant to help him clean the janitor of the school after hours happened right inside of here. So basically, he paid me a few dollars an hour. I don't even remember what I was getting paid. And my first ever job happened right in here. And since then, in the last two decades, they've actually bulldozed and leveled the elementary school that used to be there. But on the back side of the elementary school, there was a playground that we used to play at all the time. And my other best friend, Grant Thomason, lived right there in that house. A lot of memories here on this street. And right in here, there was actually a hallway that led up. My sister will remember this, and my sister is watching this video right up in here to lead into the school, into the elementary school, there was like a hallway made of brick on both sides, maybe like a 10-foot hallway. And at the end were some stairs leading up into the first floor of the school building. And we used to play a thing, I think we called it wall ball, where we took a tennis ball and we would throw the ball back and forth, try not to hit each other. And we spent hours and hours right there in that hallway, located right here. A lot of memories happen right here on this patch of grass. The thing about memories is, someone that passes by realize, oh, that's just a patch of grass. But in reality, this is someone's memory. And this is my memory with my sister playing here right across from our house. I did not go to the school. In fact, in those years, my parents homeschooled myself and my sister. So we get up very early. My mom would get up very early and my dad would go work on his sermons at the church building, do the church work. And my mom would teach us our lessons inside of that particular house right there. And then after the fact, we would usually finish our schooling around one or two in the afternoon. So before school, the regular school, the regular school kids got out of their school classes, we actually were able to be out and go and play in a lot. So we would actually go to the park, which is over there. If you want to see what the park looks like, just look up The Daily Woo Ufala, and you could probably see both other vlogs that I have posted. I will try to post the links down below on some of the other places here in Eufaula, but I wanted to share the homestead with you, 415 West Foley, right in here, many hours on that porch, another game my sister and I, my, if my sister is watching this, she will remember, but up these stairs, right on the side of the porch, you can see how the side of the porch has a little ledge, kind of like this, where we would put our toes on the end of the ledge of the porch, and then I would try to push her off, just not too hard, where she would be teetering and tottering. The things you do without a television in a very, very teeny tiny town. This town is very small. In fact, the downtown area is less than two blocks straight up that way. My dad's church was just right over that horizon, and the park was right there. In fact, this Baptist church, which I did not go to this Baptist church, I went to the first Christian church where my dad was the preacher over that way. But in 1989, New Year's Eve, 1989 to 1990, I think that was the year, Batman, Tim Burton's Batman was on VHS. We had what they called a lock-in. All the town folk kids, which was only about 15 or 20 of us, met down in the bottom basement of this Baptist church. And we had a lock-in, we had pizza, we had food, we had fellowship, and we watched Tim Burton's Batman. So this exact spot is where I saw my favorite Batman film, Tim Burton's Batman, New Year's Eve, 1989 to 1990, right down in that cellar right there. Other memories, of course, not only mowing this yard, but I remember one time in the ice and the snow and the freezing coldness, there was a lot of ice on here, so it would get very, very slick. Well, I made it to the top of here one time. It's hilarious. I made it to the top of here. I think my dad fell a couple times walking up this ice east slope. Walked up to the top, and then I made it to the top without slipping on all the ice that was festooned right in here. Made it to the top, and then I slipped, and I slid face first straight down Clark Griswold style from Christmas Vacation down the roof, but I slid down this icy slope and fell right here. So there you go. A lot of memories. My childhood home, which was not yellow at the time, but this is my childhood home, 1989, 1990, 1991. I love Eufaula, Oklahoma. A lot of memories here for me. More memories than I can shake a stick at. There's a place called JM's Hamburgers 
which is right over there that has been here since day one. So we are going to go get some food now. She's waiting patiently over there by that sign. Want to wave? She is not excited about the memories that I have because the thing about memories, the great thing about memories is you are the only one that shares them. So thank you very much for sharing my memories with you. Hopefully this was not too boring for you guys. I wanted to give you guys a part of my life. Everyone has their memories. Cherish your childhood, cherish your memories. That's what we're here for, to cherish things and remember things. Have a great day. I love you guys. Goodbye.